Two old clouds submerged, that's a roll up. True that. In the K locked and no sight when the nest came. Uh-huh. Watching niggas spray for seven words when the nest say Did what we had to do. Full for the sensei. Uh-huh. Full body control, did whatever the sensei. Now our numbers together shot up like the campaign. Link up with the pops, the dawn, very young. Uh-huh. Yeah, heal it back at the olive tree. Yeah. Two branches of chain like former parolees. Be shy with the word cracking the concrete. Unity means an increase, that's how it should be. That's right, yeah. Blood thick in the water combined. Uh-huh. We can build, call the Lord to heat up the borders. Joshua 6 united, it's an all out slaughter. Sons of Judah and Eve from all the sides of the water. Uh-huh. Look, they call me uh, Hispanic. They call Hispanic means property of Spain. So when they call you Hispanic, it's, in English, it means property of Spain. Me and you are not property. The the land of Honduras, I'm going to give you some history on it, right? Because we study every day to teach our people. The word Honduras comes from the word hundid, which means to drown, right? Because there's a lot of water around Honduras, right? So the conquistadors, they were like, all right, let's, let's call this place the land of drowning, Honduras, right? So hundid. But the, the, the point that the officer is bringing out is that we're the same people, right? So you would be Zebulon right here in the Bible, right? I want you to see it right there, right? Right right there, right? Zebulon are the ancient Mayans. You ever heard of the Mayans? Yeah. Never heard of the Mayans? All right, y'all built the pyramids in Central America. Right. Yeah, it's same with the Aztecs. We, we were always around each other. The funny part is, the reason I want to come up is because in the Bible, me and you, our tribes, were always hanging out. And I'm going to prove it in the Bible, but I want to show you something in these books. Because they say if you want to hide something from a black man or Hispanic man, put it in a book, right? Bring it up. So we're going to read this book. Grab this, the first book right here. This is called it's called Yucatan, Before and After the Conquest. So watch what it says right here. Start from the top. Some old men of Yucatan uh-huh. say that they have heard from their ancestors. From the ancestors. That means your great-great-great-grandparents, right? Read. That this country was pu- was peopled by a certain race who came from the east. So so the people of this side of the world, remember this is the western hemisphere, right? The, we, Our ancestors used to give us stories that we came from the east. That means we came from Jerusalem, read. Whom, whom God delivered. Whom God delivered by opening for them 12 roads through the sea. Uh-huh. If this was true, all the inhabitants of the Indies must be of Jewish descent. So now, the question is, where did this author, because this is a white man, so-called white man, he wrote that, give me second address 13, you know what I want? You could drop it, you could drop it. Where did he get this information? Because this book is found in all the colleges. You can find this book in Barnes and Nobles, Books a Million, right? So the question is, what history do, they, do white people know that you don't know? Because you didn't know your nationality, right? So watch what it says, Second Edges 1340. Bring it up! 2nd Edges 13 and verse 40. Bring it up. Those were the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Samanasa the king of Assyria led away captive. So this, this Bible is talking about the, uh, the Assyrian captivity. The Assyrian captivity is the captivity the Israelites went into after Egypt. Remember Moses? You know anything about Moses? Moses? Yeah. Right, when he took them out of Egypt under Ramses II, then eventually they got conquered by the Syrians. So after the Assyrian captivity, something happened to the Latinos. Let's see what happened to the Latinos. Read. And he carried them over the water. Uh huh. And so came they unto another land. So we came from Samarita. We used to live in a, a place called Samarita. Me and you, our ancestors, used to live in Samarita. We ended up going to captivity under the Syrians, right? Read. But they took counsel among themselves Go ahead. that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. Now this happened hundreds of years later. This under the Persian captivity. We ended up coming together like the Mayans, the Aztecs, all of us, our ancestors. They were called Ephraim, Manessa, Zebulon. We came together and we did what? And go forth to a father country. Go ahead. Where never mankind dwelt. Now that sounds familiar. We decided to go to a land where nobody ever inhabited. So that was the western side of the world, because everybody lived on that side, right? Everybody lived around Jerusalem and things of that nature. But right here, the Latinos, the Aztecs, the Mayans, we were Israelites. We decided to come to this side of the world, read, that they might there keep their statue. Now, this is heavy, sis. Watch this. I want you to see your history. The Bible says that the Israelites always had fringes. So if you look at their clothes, right, they had little dangly things on their shirts, right? Because the Israelites always were commanded to wear fringes. That's a commandment. That's so the Bible just said that our ancestors were supposed to come to this side of the world and keep the commandments, right? So that's why, you ever you ever, you ever seen a tortilla? Yeah. All right, tortillas are unleavened bread. If you make them with corn, they're flat. They don't have leavening. Some of them do now, 
But back then, that was our Passover bread. We used to have a lot of things that you can see in the Bible that is exactly the same as the Jewish Jewish man, right? You're like, hold up, but Jewish people look white. But the real Jews are black That's in the Bible. But we make up the 12 tribes of Israel. So right now, you're finding out how we got over here. Watch this. Read. That they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. Go ahead. So we're supposed to come over here to keep the laws, right? Read. And they enter into the Euphrates. By the narrow passages of the river. Go ahead. For the most high then showed signs for them uh -huh. and held still the flood till they were passed over. Now that book said God opened up 12 walkways for them to come to this side. So the so-called white man, he, he was trying to quote this in the Bible, right? Read. For through that country was a great way to go. So we went underneath Africa, the continent of Ham, right? Or, or Africa today, read. Namely, a year and a half. It took us a year and a half to get to Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, uh, Honduras, all those places. El Salvador, right? Read. And the same region is called Arthurus. Now I want to get very technical with you. Watch this. Sis. I want you to see this right here. This is a book called Origins of the American Indians, right? 1492 to 1729. Now I'm going to get him to read this part. You see how it says in green, Arthurus? I'm going to show you what it means in English, all right? Because the Bible called it Arthurus. But let's see what the scholars, the, the, the white man knows that Arcerus means. Read, let's start at the Briefly Luminous. Okay. Briefly Luminous argument was that the ten tribes of his, of of his Hebrews exiled to various parts of the Assyrian Empire by Salamander had escaped to Arcerus. So it says, I'm going to read it again. Watch this. It says, Briefly Luminous argument was that the ten tribes of Hebrew exiled to various parts of the Assyrian Empire by Salomonesser, everything we just read in this red book, right? The Apocryphers, the Catholics, they still have the Tobit, the Maccabees, the uh, Wisdom of Solomon in the Catholic Bible. We're reading that history in the, in the Bible, but it says, had escaped to Arsereth. What is it saying, Blue? Which Luminous identified as America. So Arsereth is the biblical name for America. Yeah. So what happened was... You know how they try to say we came through the Bering Strait? We were butt naked, like with little clothes on, and we went over the ice caps, and then we landed over here. Sure. That's a lie. Right. That's a lie that America teaches us. But how, how do you, sis? I'm 13. 13. All right. So at 13 years old, you don't get taught this history. When I was 13, they 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 didn't teach. They taught me uh what uh what's his name? George Washington. They taught me about Abraham Lincoln. They didn't tell me, yeah, American history, right? Today you're learning. Israelite history, but it's also connecting you to the Israelites because the Honduran people are Israelites. Right. Right. They just don't have those names anymore because let's get you an understanding. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28. I want to show you something. How you doing, my brother? Hey, how you doing, sir? Sir, right here. How you doing? So look, we're dealing with she's young. She's 13. She's finding out that she's not Honduran. Hondurian, I want you to know, Hondurian is a name that the slave masters gave those people when they conquered that land right. because it means deep waters, all right? Watch this, Deuteronomy 28, 48. Watch what happened to us right when, when the conquistadors landed in America and they captured the Mayans, they captured the Aztecs, Cortez. Let's see what God said happened to us. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, shall, thou shalt serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. So God said he's going to send somebody against us because we didn't want to keep his commandments, right? Read. In hunger. So for food, we had to go to somebody that didn't look like us. The conquistadors don't look like us. They didn't speak our language. They, they, we spoke Hebrew. They taught us Spanish, right? Read. And in thirst. So for water, we had to go to them, right? Read. And in nakedness. For clothing and slavery, they took away our diamonds, our gold. They, had, they gave us their dress code, right? Read. And in want of all things. Want means in lack of anything. Back in the 1400s, even today, all the Latinos, we got to go to the other nations to get our resources. Even I live in, uh, my people live in Mexico. When you go to Mexico, everything's owned by white people. Right. We, all the riches are already taken away from Mexico, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, right? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Okay, so it says he put a yoke. Now I want you to see the pictures. The pictures are up here for a reason. It says, it says they put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until thou have been destroyed. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
it. So this is an older gentleman right here. His ancestors, he could connect, you're 13. You just only been here 13 years. He can actually go back and be like, okay, at one point, my ancestors had yokes of iron on his neck, right? And God said they were going to be destroyed. That means you lost your nationality, your roots, your heritage. Now they call themselves black, uh, African-American, Negro. All those words are not biblical. Right. Is, is that true, sir? Right. That's right, right? So they try to call him something that he's not when God calls him a God on the earth. That's God right. says he looked like Christ. Like, did you ever know that Christ looked like that man right there? Right? Because in the Catholic Church, they don't teach you that Christ will like him. In the Catholic Church, they want you to be different than him because they made him Christian. They made you Catholic. So you look at him as a different race. But God says everything that happened to him happened to you in slavery. God says that in the Bible. It says we were oppressed together. All 12 tribes went into. Uh, have you ever heard, sir? Um, I know you're an older man. Have you ever heard of the Spanish Inquisition? Okay, happened around 1453 when uh, the Spaniards went to the Moors. The Moors were dark people that ruled Europe for a thousand years. They went over there, they conquered y'all in 1453 off of Seville, Granada, all the different cities. They took y'all from power. Then they came over here about 40 years later and conquered the black Aztecs, Mayans, Incas. They raped our women, raped, uh, you know what I'm saying? Now our, our men and women look a little lighter, like the officer was bringing out. We lost our melanin and, and the woolly hair, right? But the slave trade, let's get that, Jeremiah 50, verse 33. The slave trade happened at the same time to all of us. We have to be able to connect that so that when we look at each other, you know, they try to push MS-13, you got the Latin Kings, the Crips, the Bloods, and movies were separate. But in the Bible, it says we were what? Watch what the Bible says about it. The book of Jeremiah 50, verse 33. Watch this. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. the children of Israel. The children of Israel is the Latinos and the Native Americans, read. And the children of Judah. Sometimes the Bible calls these three tribes Judah, read. Were oppressed together. Hold up, we were what? Oppressed together. You gotta think about in America, because this is the land of our slavery. In America, we're oppressed together. Who fills up the jail system? Latinos and so-called black people, right? Who, who gets uh, the worst jobs in America? Who's being uh, shot down and killed or being sent back to their country, right? It's us, we're always getting oppressed. We wanna come over here and get better jobs. But they, 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 they take our kids from us, put them in abortion, I mean, um, foster care, right. and then they, they ship the parents back to Mexico. That's evil. You can't take somebody's kids from them when they, they all come here as a family. Then you send the parents back and take the kids, right? Right. So God says what? Read that bottom part. They were what? They the were, children of Israel uh -huh. and the children of Judah were oppressed together. That's why we, we put these signs together. Because Northern Kingdom, the Latinos, and the blacks, we were always oppressed together. In the Bible, we always were oppressed together. That's up, very huh? important for us to learn, right? Give me John 832, why? You say you're 13, right? All right, I understand, I understand. Just one last scripture, but you're, you're 13 and he, how old are you, sir? 69. 69? Yep. Look at the difference, the age gap, right? Watch what God says, watch this. The book of John 8 and verse 32. Read out. And ye shall know the truth. Go ahead. And the truth shall make you free. So at a 13 year old age and 69, God says when you learn the truth, it shall make you free. Why? That's right. Because in America, we're in spiritual bondage. We don't know who we are. Right. We don't care. We're walking around thinking we're different things. And guess what? We don't see each other as royalty. So we don't treat each other as royalty. Right. If, if we have kids and we let them be ran by America, they're going to grow up to be monsters and they're going to take advantage of you. Why? Because America teaches that we should be boyfriend and girlfriend. That's not marriage. So guess what? At 15, 16, girls are getting pregnant. God says we can't have that in our communities. So men like us that repented, we got to come over here and teach you how to be a woman, right? Through the Bible. We got to teach, uh, let's say your father, right? You got a father still alive, right? We got to teach your father that he's not Honduran. We got to teach him that he's an Israelite. We got to teach your mother that she's an Israelite and that commandments are involved in raising you up. That's right. Watch this. History of Susanna, one and three. I know you say you got to go. So let's just find out what happened to our parents in the Bible. History of Susanna, were, these were Israelites. Let's see what they did with their daughter. Because you're, uh, you're a young daughter. Let's see what God is in the back. Come on. History of Susanna, verse 3. So we're going to read about our four parents and what was commanded for us to do with our daughters. Watch this. You got me? History of Susanna, verse, verse 3. Start at 2. Verse 2. Watch this, sister. And he took a wife whose name was 
Susanna, go ahead. The daughter of Celsius, uh huh. A very fair woman. So she was very beautiful, right? Read. And one that feared the Lord. And she feared God. She kept the commandments. Read. Her parents also were righteous and taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. So the parents were righteous and they taught the daughter according to the law of Moses. So Deuteronomy 6 and 7. God says it's a commandment. Like I got a four year old. Let me show you a little picture of a little four year old, my little man, right? See him? So called Mexican, right? In America. But I teach him he's Issachar. I'm never going to tell him he's Hispanic or he's nothing. Or guess what? Go over there and uh, and go hang out with some Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. Every time I see a Puerto Rican, I tell him that those are Ephraimites. That's Every right. time I see a black man, I say that's a Judite right there. Right. So my son sees people as their biblical nationalities. So he understands how to maneuver. You as a 13-year-old, you got a flyer? Did he give you a flyer? Yeah. All right. You got to read the flyer. Just read the flyer. I know you got to go. Watch this last scripture. Watch this. Read but the Deuteronomy 6 and verse 7. Bring it out. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So we have to teach the commandments diligently to our children, right? Read. And thou talk of them when thou sittest in thy house. When we sit down, like if you were my daughter, you, you, I'm 31. You could if I would have started early, right? The Bible says I'm supposed to teach you the commandments when we sit at home, right? Read. Right. And when thou walkest by the way. And we're walking through Walmart. I'm going to show you what America pushes so that you can... Uh, tr attract sexual attention. I'm going to say, nope, you can't wear shorts. You can't wear pants because we're going to be walking to Walmart and I'm going to tell you what's right and what's wrong as a father, right? right. Read. And when thou liest down, well, when you lay down, I'm going to read you black and Hispanic history in the Bible. Right. I'm going to grab the Bible. I'm going to show you that Jesus Christ looked like him. Right. I'm going to show you who the Hondurians are in the Bible so that when you read the Bible, you can see yourself in the Bible, right? Read. And when thou rises up, when you wake up, I'm going to tell you, hey, don't let the little girls tell you that blonde hair in your head is okay. Because guess what? What people have blonde hair naturally? What nation of people have white, white right? So what they do is they put Celine Dion, they put uh, a Nicki Minaj, they put Selena. They give them blonde hair. And then what happens is our youth, our young girls will be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's beauty. So then you put it on your head. Because I got sisters. They put blonde in their head. I understand it's because America's media makes you think that that's beauty. But God said he was the author of beauty. He created you with the black hair. Right. He created you with the melanin. So you don't, know, you don't need to bleach your skin. You know, so Some of our people bleach their skin. They fix their noses so that they can have a, a white girl nose. But God says, me as a father, if you were my daughter, sis, I have to teach you the, the, the beauty in yourself. I right, have to right. do that. That's the commandment for me. Read. And thou shalt bind them. For a sign upon thy hand. That's the point. We're supposed to teach it to you. That I just before you leave, I know you gotta go. You're 13. I don't want you to get in trouble. So check out the flyer, read it, tell your parents to read it. You you need you uh, your parents speak Spanish or English? No. Both? Okay, so that's good. Because if they only spoke Spanish, we got a Spanish flyer for them. But look, keep read that um scripture one more time. So if you gotta go, sis, I understand. I'll I got a question for you, my brother. Do you agree with that commandment? You think that we lack that commandment in our communities? where blacks and Hispanics are, are teaching their youth that we have a, a, a beautiful history in the Bible? Oh, yeah. yeah, right? So watch what God says. Read. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 7. One more time. Read. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So we're supposed to diligently teach the commandments. Read. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest thy house and when thy walkest by thy way, go ahead. And when thou liest down, go ahead. And when thou risest up, so at all times we're supposed to be teaching the Bible. We're right. supposed to be teaching the Bible to our youth, and our elderly men are supposed to be teaching the commandments to us. What happened is that in America they sucked that out of us. They took our heritage. Give me Jeremiah 14. I mean 17 verse 4. And we're gonna go into that. We're gonna go into real history. I want you to picture. This is the greatest history you ever learn. Watch this. Book of Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. God says we're going to discontinue from our heritage. Our heritage is the laws. It's the commandments. We discontinue because they never taught it to us. And our, they try to uh, divide state and, and church, right? But even T.D. Jake says he thought America was a Christian society. T.D. Jake understands that no, it's not. That's why he says his mindset on sodomy has to change. So he, at one point he don't agree with it, but he says he knows America's passing laws. So he has to shut up if he wants to keep his church uh, open. He, he has to, right? Read. That I gave thee. So God gave us the laws of fringes. You're not wearing fringes anymore, right? 
You're not wearing a dress anymore because America has discontinued you from your heritage, right? Read. And I will cause thee uh -huh. to serve thine enemies. So now we have to serve our enemies. They tell us that, that Britney Spears is the beauty. They tell us that Christmas is something beautiful. They tell us Halloween, Thanksgiving. Did you know that Thanksgiving is the murder of the Native Americans? The cranberry sauce is the blood, the turkey is the Indian, and then the stuffing is the smallpox and disease that they gave our people. We have to know that so that we don't teach our youth, like, again, if you were my daughter, you wouldn't be celebrating Thanksgiving. You'd be celebrating the Passover, right. Pascua. You'd be celebrating the Sabbath, El Dia de Reposo. We would be teaching you that, and guess what? You no longer have to look at another nation to find out what to celebrate or what is beauty because you are a beautiful young uh, uh, Zebulon sister, but you've got to learn that biblically right. because everything else is going to teach you that you're nothing. That you're just a gangster. You uh, some a cop stops you, they're gonna look at you. Oh, are you are you affiliated with the Latin Kings or something? Something? They're gonna judge you off of your appearance. So appearance does matter in America, but we act like it doesn't, right? Read. In the land which thou knowest not, because America is not our homeland. Jerusalem is our homeland. Read. But ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. We used to scream Black Power, while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth